it's EKG. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, also welcome. I hope you're doing well. My name is Ebony, but I like to go by my pen name, EKG. And today I am continuing a series on my channel called The Reading Playlist. And in The Reading Playlist, I do book recommendations based on musicians. And today I have a amazing woman a true queen a literal god <laughs> a true queen a literal goddess and that is Solange and today I am going to be hitting you with some book recs based on Solange her vibe some facts I found out about her and also her studio album I'm going to be mainly focusing on a seat at the table because that is Solange's album that just resonates the most with me but i will also use some elements from her most recent album when i get home so what do i know about Solange? is the sister of beyonce mega superstar beyonce the queen beyonce solange is also a literal goddess i saw such a funny or like great comparison of them as like Beyonce as the sun and Solange is the moon. There's really no other way to describe that. Beyonce is very fiery and Solange is just very chill, neo soul vibes and I'm obsessed. I love Solange's music. I think she incorporates so many different sounds of funk, rock, hip hop, jazz, and new age music into her own albums and her voice is just so heavenly it is ethereal and it is very light and airy solange is raised in houston she is the queen of the yeehaw aesthetic and so i did some digging i did some research and this time i found credible sources <laughs> and i saw on fader that a book that inspired solange's seat at the table claudia rankings citizen in american lyric as being a main source of inspiration for a seat at the table i found that solange did such or she said such a beautiful impactful thing in an interview she did with Fader and then she just said for the album that constantly reading and trying to challenge the way that I articulate things was a huge part of the writing process for this album A Seat at the Table and then she talks about Claudia was someone who directly inspired my writing because her poetry cuts through in a really unique way she leaves certain things up for your interpretation while also being very direct so i'm going to hit you with some book recs based on that just i want to start off by saying i have been wanting to read claudia rankine's citizen in american lyric for quite a while now and i actually just got it on my kindle so i'm going to be reading that to get a little deeper insight into a seat at the table and solange's writing and thought process but then also to partake in poetry because you know i love poetry but now let's get into my book recommendations based off of salon and the first book that i would like to recommend to you is an american marriage by tayari jones and this book follows celestial and roy who are newlyweds right at the start of their marriage roy gets accused of a crime that celestial knows he didn't commit and so he ends up going to prison and from there you get insight into their relationship from the perspective of celestial it's told in three different points of view celestial roy and andre who is the third character who is celestial's friend and you get insight into celestial and roy's relationships the different thinking between just a woman in a relationship and especially in this case a black woman in a relationship and roy and his experience being wrongfully incarcerated and i just feel as though in american marriage it's on those points that solange is talking about in a seat at the table some songs that come to my mind from the album are weary trains in the sky mad i mean basically the entire album the interludes with master p talking i mean just the entire thing of struggling in american marriage is especially moving because you see how being wrongfully incarcerated can affect a family break down a family 
and what that leads to when the person gets out. And an American marriage is very interesting for that. And I read it a while ago and it's one of those books that is sticking with me. The story sticks with me and the more I think about it, the more accurate I think it was. I think Solange would love this book if she hasn't read it already. She advocates against the things that this book talks about and describes, but I also think with Solange and just especially too from when I get home and an American marriage is just one of those books that is heartbreakingly devastating and you kind of get left with a unsatisfied taste in your mouth towards the end of the book and I think that was very effective on Jones's part. Okay, next up I want to go further into that sort of like intergenerational effect that trauma has and we're going to be talking about Homegoing by Yag Yasi. Homegoing is a book that follows two half-sisters lineage from being in Africa then one sister's side of the family gets sold into slavery into America and then you follow her family's generations from there. Other half-sister's family stays in Africa and you sort of get insight into that. This home going is basically told in a short story format where the thing that is connecting the stories is the tie to the previous person and it is an intergenerational story that details trauma. It's a very beautiful story in the sense that you literally see hundreds of years go by and the issues that some of the characters are facing are the same that another, like one of their ancestors was facing 50 years ago. And I think Solange in A Seat at the Table really talks about that and she does it in a way like she said in her interview that is just kind of personalized she doesn't necessarily tell the narrative of her own story per se but she uses those anecdotes from her mother and her father and the interludes between some of the songs to then talk about how how she kind of deals with what her parents were dealing with and how they're still relevant today. I think Homegoing is a good example of just kind of that oral history, that oral tradition. Uh, that's what it reminds me of, just hearing stories about your ancestors and your relatives who have gone through some things. I think that's very pertinent to Solange. I would also like to recommend a collection of poems and that is Tracy K. Smith's Wade in the Water. And this poetry collection, Tracy K. Smith does the same exact thing. Just the generational impact of certain laws and certain systemic and overt things that people of color, specifically black people faced in America. It is an extremely beautiful poetry collection. I am such a huge fan of Tracy K. Smith. I'm sure you probably know that already, but I recommend that specific collection for Solange. Okay, so I kind of want to break up a little bit of the heaviness of the video so far and I want to talk about one of my honorable mentions for this video and that is the final revival of Opal and Neve. Nev? something like that. But the Inside Flap says, Opal is a fiercely independent young woman pushing against the grain in her style and attitude, a black punk artist before her time. Coming of age in Detroit, she can't imagine setting for a comfortable job. Opal believes she can be a star, so when British singer-songwriter Neville Charles discovers her at a bar's amateur night, she takes him up on his offer to make rock music together for the fledgling Rivington Records. Just as she's finding her niche, as part of a flamboyant and funky creative scene, a rival band signed to her label brandishes a Confederate flag at a promotional concert. Opal's bold protest and the violence that ensues set off a chain of events that will not only change the lives of those she loves, also be a deadly reminder that repercussions are always harsher for women, especially black women who dare to speak their truth. So this is why I think the final revival of Opal and Eve would be fantastic for a seat at the table and then transitioning into when I get home because to me Solange is like a soft rock star I kind of want to say she just gives off this energy that she truly does not care but she's also very feminine and gentle 
and it's really interesting energy i love solange's energy i think that that book would be so fun i started reading it and i'm loving it already okay, i also want to recommend another poetry collection to you and that is black girl call home the cover reminds me of the cover of a seat at the table with the barrettes and just the whole aspect of hair and we know number one Thanger off of a seat at the table was Don't Touch My Hair. That Girl Call Homes is a collection of poems by Jasmine Manns placed in Newark, New Jersey, but also talks about pop culture, Whitney Houston, Kanye West. It also talks about police brutality and Jasmine Manns. I think a key part of this is Solange's love of Houston in when i get home she uses a lot of houston aesthetic in her visuals i mean she literally has like bulls running around and horses and it's just very cinematic and beautiful and i think jasmine mans has that same type of way of capturing newark uh through her writing and through her poetry and that is the thing that I think connects them the most. And within Black Girl Call Home, Jasmine Manns talks about Black feminism as well, which is what Solange Knowles talks about. And then lastly, I want to do another honorable mention, and that is Woman, Race, and Class by Angela Davis. This book is a collection of essays that goes into Woman, Race, and Class and just how and why and how these things impact us, impact women, impact race, impact class. It's just a collection of essays, basically is what I'm trying to say about the three things that are literally in the title of the book. And Solange in her music talks about women, race, and class. But essentially, Angela Davis is a prominent Black activist. She is a Black feminist. I'm sure Solange has probably read Woman, Race, and Class already, but I suggest that you read it if you love A Seat at the Table and When I Get Home. These are the books that I suggest you read if you love listening to Solange. If you also are a Solange music lover and you have some book recs, leave them down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I will have all of my social link down below you can follow me on instagram and goodreads i'll be in the description bar and make sure you like comment and subscribe if you haven't already join the fam and i will catch you in the next video bye and i was like yo